Hello everyone, welcome to Taiji, a philosophical puzzle game inspired by The Witness. This game came out a couple of months ago, and I would have played it right away if I had known about it, but I didn't learn about it until a couple weeks ago. So, here we are. Let's see what deep insights about the universe this game has to teach us, and also what fun we can have solving its puzzles. This is a blind let's play, so I'd appreciate no spoilers and no backseating. You guys are usually pretty good at doing that. Just a reminder that I want to be doing all these puzzles on my own with no help. Because there's only one chance we ever get to experience a game blind without knowing what's going on. Thank you very much. Um. Oh, this button. Okay. Left stick. Go around in circles. Okay, I can go around. I can move. So we've discovered so far that we can step on buttons. We can use the right stick for this. We could also use the mouse. So I think I want, might want to... I'm actually kind of enjoying this right here. <laughs> you see that if I move the mouse and if I move the control stick, the prompt on the bottom changes. So, I think I might try with one hand on the stick and one hand on the mouse. What have we got? That's not doing it. Maybe I have to make this thing. Oh. There we go. No? No, that's not it. Is there a confirm button somewhere? Hey, look, lanterns like eyes. Okay, there's a path down here, there's a path up here. Can I just walk off? No. Surely the thing that makes sense is copying this, right? That doesn't seem to be it. Maybe if we do this? Stuck on the first puzzle. Wow, this looks like it's gonna be a hard game. Hey, look, a run button. Let's see if we can turn on always run. Auto run on. If you've seen my RPGs, you know I like to always run. Okay. Really, this isn't it. I am surprised. So, what are our other controls? We have a right bumper did something. I have totally forgot how we just solved that one up there. Right bumper is click on the controller, okay. This is, this is surprising. Maybe we're supposed to see what those eyes would see if they were looking up there, which means reverse. Oh. I have to click on that button with the... Oh, I wasn't... I wasn't thinking you have to click on the thing you're standing on. Good to know. What does this do? I'm pressing it. Maybe I need to go somewhere else? Does it look? What does that button do? I pressed it, it didn't do anything. Oh, I'm walking. It was a, it was the run button. I won't be using that one. Also, the left bumper does it as well. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Haha! <laughs> it looks like there's something over here too. So maybe, can we see any other patterns? Maybe if we get this thing to go down, then we'll reveal something further down. Hmm. Something to keep in mind for later. Return to the beginning once we learn more. We can't quite cross here. Okay, so I'm guessing those mean dark. So only put in these. I am so smart! Haha! <laughs> All right, dark ones again. Here we go. 
Man, it's been a long, long time since I've played a solid puzzle game. What was the last one? Monsters Expedition? I guess that one counts. Um, man, I've been craving Baba is You for a long time. Oh yeah, this is definitely reminiscent of The Witness. I was just I was like, I just don't have these... I guess I can go over there. Just don't have... Just don't have the games, the puzzle game that I'm craving. That one worked. But now, is it this pattern? Here, here. Okay. Is it the same pattern? It is the same pattern. Okay, so it doesn't like that one. It's not here, maybe not these two? Because those aren't very many flowers. No? So it's not this pattern again. It's not this pattern. So what is it? Unless I'm not seeing this pattern, right? Maybe these two also count? Hmm. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, it's up there. Huh. Okay. So what this, what I'm guessing this is, is that this one would count as a white square, and this one would count as a black square, and ditto on this side. Oh god, you don't get to see that very well. Okay, but it's an easy enough pattern to remember. Uh, reverse of this. Yeah! And this does feel like the witness puzzles. Okay, here we go. Wait, why didn't those... Did I click them wrong? I wasn't looking at my cursor when I did that. What's this one supposed to be? It's weird. Well, that was the correct solution, so let's think. How is this the correct solution? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Alright. So this is showing us that there are environmental cues for the puzzles. Oh yeah, and then this is like... Okay, let's go back and look at all of these. So before this... I don't know if... Before this, okay. Okay, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Yeah, so this shape is right here. This shape is right here. And this shape is right here. However, we have a four just like this. So maybe we could try doing this. And I'll come back, remind me. Well, no need to remind me. Ha! I figured it out already! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, note to self. Do not watch any other Let's Plays of this game until I have finished the game. <laughs> Okay, this looks like a bonus. Whoa! I think maybe we won't want to... I think maybe we'll want to... Holy moly! Okay, this looks like something we'll want to come back to later. <laughs> yep, that looks pretty crazy to me. I'm so happy to have found this right away, though. And I can just hop across. I don't need to do anything special. Yeah, so this pattern is white, 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 cube, cube, cube. And then this pattern is right here. And then this pattern is whites here and darks here. And then... I like how I can use both the controller and the mouse at the same time. This pattern is right here. So L, 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 L. And this pattern is right here. It's the grass. See, there's, there's grass here. And then this pattern is on the rock. So this is teaching us, and some players may not get this right away. This is teaching us that the solutions can be found by looking at the environment. So here's something here, I don't know if that's anything, but we've got ourselves four 
different puzzles. This one is not applicable. So, that means we cannot turn on this corner, which suggests it has to be this one. Yeah! This one can be anything. This one cannot... The middle has to be white, so it has to be this one. Yeah, so I, my first instinct was to just put in whatever one I felt, but then I thought, you know, this one said there was a corner missing. So, I gotta look at the others. Yeah. So this one, this one can only be here, and this one can only be here. So, it's a... We don't want to do this one yet. Well, we know it has to be this one, but it's better to look at these to see what we got to do. And then this one. Oh man, I am having the time of my life already. I love this game already. <laughs> oh, it's also beautiful. Look at this art. Beautiful pixel art. We can see hints of what's to come. Oh, I haven't finished Quern yet at the time of recording this episode, so I just felt like taking a break and doing something, and also I really, really wanted to play this game. What do we have? It's a pagoda? And then... Is this water, I suppose? So, perhaps we're going to fill in these, and that will fill this together. Alright, and then maybe... Uh, no, there are different... I was going to say, maybe as we fill these, these will fall down. But there are fewer of these than there are of these images. Let's just go look at these beautiful trees. Oh. Imagine drawing this. It doesn't look drawn. So, there has to be some kind of programming thing going on here. It looks really nice. Okay, let's just hang a left until we can't go left anymore. <laughs> what have we here? Can we walk over here? Yes. What is this? Grass? Flower? Can I pick it up? No. So now we know there are secrets in this game. Make sure to follow all the paths. I think we found ourselves in a new area. Let's go and see if there's anything to do. Anything to find. Can I get around this? No, I suppose not. Looks like there's a puzzle up there. Okay, so I, it did not look like I could come over here, but I can, so that's something to remember. Sometimes you can go places it looks like you cannot. I'm just behind this building. Okay, can't go past here. It's a nice cart that is here, and it looks like these rails only go over to here. Okay. Strange. Trying to think, I guess... Yeah, that, that is pretty strange, because the coal, apparently, or wood chips or whatever, are coming from here, I guess, and going over to here, but then the cart is supposed to pick them up and drive over to here. Like, why wouldn't you just make the pipe go right here? <laughs> Have we found ourselves a puzzle? We have. Alright, let's see if we can find the solution. Um, there's three bars right here. Could this be the solution? No, let's go down here. This is going to teach us some stuff. Alright, minus. What is that telling us? It's just telling us the answer. Um, okay, so maybe the minus has to be right here. Okay, so the minus has to be the same place in the shape. 
So the, the puzzle is relative to the minus, not relative to the left side of the screen. Isn't this the same thing? Is it trying to tell us that we can... Oh, this minus is not doable. Hmm. What does this mean? Can we do the reverse? It counts. There's a minus that wants to be off. Do we have to do these? All right. There we go. Okay. So let's see if I can explain this. So when there's a shape that is automatically on the board, then we have to make the same shape where the other, where the same symbol is, might not always be minus. And then we have to make all the rest of the squares the other color. So if this minus had been white and we wouldn't been able to change it, then these would have to be white. And I guess the rest would have to not be white. I don't know. So here we have a minus and it needs to have opposite color adjacent to it. So let's see if this solves it. It does. Let's see if this solves it. No, it doesn't. Why doesn't this solve it? Could it be because it is, this shape is attached to here? That might be it. All right, so if that hypothesis is correct, then this should not work. All right, because this is a shape, but this counts as part of the same shape. That's what I'm getting from this. So this whole thing would count as one shape. So I'd have to make the same shape off to this one, so all the way over here. So that's why I have to reverse it, because then this shape is not connected to this shape at all. Okay. All right, so along those lines, this should not work. And also this should not work. Yeah, because this shape, these count as part of this shape, these two squares. So I've changed the shape here. In that case, this should work because we have this shape here, right here. All right, so it's the, the white shape on the left and the dark shape on the right. I'm getting it. So this should work, right? But reversing it should not work, right? Okay. Okay. So we have a white square, so everywhere there's a minus, or a teal minus, or blue, whatever color you want to call this, cyan. I don't think it's cyan. Then we'll have to do this, because then there's a four square, another four square, and another four square, and each four square has the minus in the upper left corner. All right. I am really enjoying this. This makes no sense. Because... All right, I'm looking at this. I'm not sure how to do it. Because in order to have these two be in alignment, it has to be like this. Oh, and then the middle is already in alignment. I was like, but then we have to fill in the middle too. But no, we don't. Yeah, so we got to match these two and then the middle automatically matches. All right. So much fun. And what's this again? Okay. Um, it's got three lines. What if I do this? Ha! Ah, nice. Where's that? Oh, it's just showing a projection. So I'm going to take a, is there a screenshot button? Oh, there's a mark tile button. I guess maybe that'd be right click. No, middle click. I don't see a screenshot option. So 
I'm going to take myself a screenshot right there. All right, screenshot saved. Okay. And right, we're on the other side of this. And there is another puzzle right here. Minus, minus, minus. Okay, so what we need to do... Can't we just... Won't that work? <laughs> no need for anything fancy. So they're all the same shape. A, sh a shape of one. Alright, so... This cannot be... The same thing. We can't just turn these three on because of this one right here. And then we can't just do this because that's not going to work. What about this? Um, no. We can't change this one either. <laughs> what about this? There, that's three of the same shape. This shape, dark, yellow. Yeah! Oh, so many puzzles, I'm so happy! Okay, now we got different color minuses. We've got... Black minus wants to do an L, and blue minus wants to do a T. Let's do this. And then that... Should do it. I think. Yeah! And I feel like I'm not saying enough. So... We've got ourselves a black has to be L, green has to be... This one's just very straightforward. Is there another black one anywhere? Is this just it? I don't understand that. Strange. This one's not working. Okay, what's the puzzle here? What's it trying to teach us? Has there been black on any of these others? Yes. Why is the black not working? Can it not be? Maybe it can't be the same as the others. There we go. It has to be unique. Alright, so you are high, you are middle, you are low, and then you're two. Yeah! It would work if there are three as well. Yeah! This is fun! So that's not going to work. So... This is how we have to start it, though. How about that? Yeah! So I blocked off the white one so it's not the same as the yellow. And the black one, of course, has to be the same. So the white is a T, the black is this shape. The black has to be this shape. And then what about the yellow? The yellow can't be like that. I cannot change any of these. I can't change any of these three, because if I do, that messes up this black one. Very strange. Very strange. Let's ponder this. So, how can I change the yellow to not be like white? It's not gonna... Oh! Oh, it's in a different place in the shape. So that works. I was like, it's not gonna work if I just choose the answer. But it did. Okay, we've got ourselves a black shape right here. And we have another black shape right here. Okay, that suggests that we want to do this. That'll work here because the purple's in a different space different place, which means we got to fill this in, and then we got to make the green somehow different from the white. So how are we going to do that? So these are, the ones I filled in are not an option, because it has to be the same as here, and it has to be the same as here. So this one overlaps, which means that Yeah, these two have to be the beginning of the shape. And I can't do this, because that makes this whole thing one shape, and so the blacks are not... are not the same shape in the same place, because it's one shape. What if... Alright. Should do it. <laughs> Remember corners. That is a lesson of this 
time. Remember corners. What's in here? So I just solved a whole bunch of puzzles. What was that for? Oh, up there? Time to run around the building. This looks like it should open, doesn't it? Oh, can I go up here? No. Okay. Good to know. Alright, what we've got to do here is... Um, click, 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 click. I guess it doesn't matter which one we do. And then... Well, it can't, it can't be two like that. Hmm... This one cannot connect here. Oh, here we go. That should do it. No? What's wrong? Oh, the blacks. Right. So this one ha- okay, let's start like this. This is not going to work because the blacks and yellows are the same. So, we'll s okay, starting from the beginning, explaining my reasoning. The blacks cannot be the same as the yellow, because if these two are the same, then this one has to be the top, but there's no box down here. Which means that we have to start like this. We do not have to start like this. So, what happens if we then go here? I think I got it. There we go. The blacks are in the same shape. They are square, single squares, and then the yellows have their own identical shape to each other. Okay, this one has to be on, this one has to be off. So... We go this way. No. I don't think that's going to work. It has to be on, this has to be off. So let's start by doing this. Now they can't connect with one another. What if we do this? Oh. There we go. This should work. No. No, because of this one. Let's go the other way. Like this. There we go. Three shapes. Three mi two minus two black minuses, three yellow minuses. They're all in the same shape on their shape. Yeah. Oh man. The puzzle part of the witness. So much fun. All right, there's a slash. Does that mean any direction is fine? All right. Oh, this is so satisfying and fun to do. Now, this is on a diagonal, or so can this one be any direction? All right, so if one of them is diagonal, then the other one can be any direction. What about this? All right, so it works both ways. Um, a diagonal means that... Okay. Okay, conceptually, there is no both ways. They, if there are two shapes, then they have to have... If there are two signals, they, they both have to have the same shape. It really doesn't matter which one is input first. Um, what if they're the same? Does that work? Okay, so that's what it's teaching us. That a slanted one can, in fact, be the same. Well, let's see if it can be in a different place in the shape. No, it can't. So that works. And so this one would have to be... Is that rotated? That is not rotated. So let's see if it, this shouldn't work. Okay. There we go. No, that shouldn't work either. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, in order to... In order to rotate this L, it has to be here and then these three. There we go. Yeah, so I had to make it dark so that it could rotate. It could be this L rotated. 
So, you know, there's two Tetris L's and they're not the same. Whoa. This is weird. Okay. Okay, so every single one of these shapes has to be the middle of its own shape. So like if I do this, I think I just got it. There we go. So, oh, and I could have gone to this one first because it's a dash instead of a slash. So the dash has to be the same and they can be like, okay, we'll do this one. And I also could have done this instead. Look at that. So cool. And nice pixel art, animated pixel art. I guess I've seen animated pixel art before. I gotta play Celeste.